total solar eclipse is a must-see phenomenon. But is it true that staring at one can make you go blind? The short answer is yes. Staring at an eclipse will damage your eyes. In fact, staring at the sun anytime is downright dangerous. Okay, so I'm going to point it at the sun now. Dr. Ralph Chu is a leading optometrist and astronomer who literally helped write the standards for solar eclipse eye safety. He also has a pretty amazing observatory in his backyard. That's a beautiful view of the sun today. I paid him a visit to find out just what happens to our eyes when we stare at the sun. The light-sensitive photoreceptors at the back of the eye in what we call the retina uh, have these uh, structures that absorb the light and uh, turn it into an electrical signal that goes to the brain. And when you've got a very, very bright light source like the sun, there's so much of this light energy pouring in there that it overwhelms the mechanisms that are converting that light. This, in turn, causes a nasty chemical reaction in your eye. Not good. And whatever light your photoreceptors can't handle goes on to hit a layer in the back of your eye that absorbs that light and turns it into heat. It can actually raise the temperature so that at the cellular level, uh, you're actually getting generation of steam inside the cell, which literally cooks it from the inside. Stare at the sun long enough and your eyes are in trouble, period. So is looking at an eclipse any worse? No, the sun is no brighter or stronger and it's certainly not easier to look at. Same sun, same risk. The only difference is we actually want to stare at the sun because a solar eclipse is amazing, right? So our willpower overcomes the natural urge to look away and that's when we run into problems. I've certainly seen cases of people who uh, stared at the sun long enough that they did burn the shape of the sun into their uh, retinas. You can almost tell exactly when they uh, looked because you've got the shape of the crescent burned in. Yeah, evidence of eclipse curiosity literally burned into your eyes. But there is one time and one time only when it's safe to look directly at a solar eclipse when this happens. Wow! Whoa! Totality. When the moon completely covers the sun and only the corona is visible. For this brief time, day becomes night and it's safe to look directly at it. In fact, it gets so dark during totality that animals become confused and start their nighttime routines. But totality doesn't last long, and you have to be in a specific location to see it at all. So, spectacular astronomical event. Time to break out the telescope or binoculars, right? No. Worst idea ever. Unless you have special solar filters. Even if you're wearing eclipse glasses, it's still a bad idea. Here's what happened when Dr. Chu held up a pair to his unfiltered telescope. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god. The solar lens burned in seconds. Now imagine an eyeball there. Thinking sunglasses? Think again. Even the darkest sunglasses have nothing on proper eclipse glasses. They filter out 10,000 times more light than the darkest pair of shades you can buy. There is no way that you can look at the sun with a, a pair of sunglasses and be safe. So here's a safe way to check out a solar eclipse. For a direct view, get yourself a pair of very stylish eclipse glasses. They should only set you back a few dollars, but make sure they're legit. You can find them at a science store or your local astronomical group. Make sure you look for this international standards number. But be warned, some counterfeiters are using this number as well. For an indirect view, you can make an easy pinhole projector with supplies you likely have kicking around the house. And of course, you can watch glasses free on TV or online. Wherever you watch, however you watch, remember, never ever look directly at the sun, no matter how tempted you may be. Because while a solar eclipse certainly is beautiful, it's just not worth your eyesight.